Do you think that Vladimir Putin is going to get essentially taken out or removed by his generals? In the short term, it's very, very unlikely because he has built his power on protecting his power. Layer after layer after layer, his old mates from the KGB, the SFB, FSB, and they're all around him. It would really take a big effort, and particularly he's been buying in hard men like Sorovkin and, and so on to back him. His political buddies like Lavrov and uh, the, 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 the defence minister, mm. um, they don't really count for that much. They don't know what to do for the after Putin. It's not clear. And a yeah. junta of generals, I don't think, would do any much better. And I think they'd do a lot worse. And I think that's a general feeling. A couple of important questions. I am noticing a big shift in a lot of people, whether it's on social media, whether it's in our inbox here, or just people I talk to generally, really, who are saying, we're all right giving a bit of money and weapons to Ukraine. When will this stop? Because it's a lot of money and the British taxpayer is not really getting a vote on this. Yeah, this is, this is, this is part of the problem. It's a crisis, which is a regional war of global implications. And when I say global implications, we're that part of the region because we know that our supply chain for food, for energy particularly, but above all, communications, these trillions of dollars worth of transactions that go through fibre optic cables. We know the Russians have been having a good look at it, may have been doing a bit of this, a bit of that, all around the British Isles, including Ireland. Amazingly, the Irish Navy mm. really alerted us to some of the worst uh, surveillance operations by the Russians. You know, they may be niggling, taking out a bank. You know, you get your banking online saying, oh, we're out of action for, for yeah. three hours. That's probably th this kind of thing going on. So as long as Putin's around and in this cast of mind, he's going to be a darn nuisance for a long time. And that has to be taken. And we have got an interest in it. We've got to spend money on real defence. The argument that says shouldn't we be spending money on food banks mm. or whatever, well, you might as well close down the whole of defence, including the nuclear deterrent. I get that, build but, a block should, of but flat, people are concerned the that there isn't a proper audit of exactly where this money's going, that we're just splashing the cash Sorry, this is the second part of what I should have been saying to you. I'm being a bit uh, long-winded about this. Is that This seems to be a long war or, or a war of indefinite time. But I was thinking coming in, knowing I was going to talk to you mm. about this, this, the 120 missiles today, the fighting in the Donbass, particularly uh, around um, south of Zaporizhia, that, that area, what's been going on in Belarus, trying to do joint mm -hmm. training, saying we're doing nuclear drills. There's a bit of an air of desperation about this. So I would hazard, and shoot me down anybody if you absolutely know better, they're trying to close this off. Yeah. Russia, it looks to me, is going for a great big swipe by the end of March or mid-April at most. Want to really... Putin really has to show progress that he is going to be Putin victorious mm. by the 24th of February this coming year, the, 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 the anniversary of this. So... I'm absolutely with Lord Richard Dannett on this. You've got to stick with this at the moment. But the odd thing to say is the Americans have got to stop being so timid. Right. They're driving old-fashioned car. You can, rem yeah. you can work out that I drive a manual, not an yes. automatic. One foot on the accelerator, one foot on the foot brake all the time. Oh, we'll give you this. Oh, we'll give you a bit of patria. But Excuse you me. mustn't have anything that looks as if it could attack <coughs> across Russian yeah. borders. You need weapons of that capability, not to do it, but you have to have it of that order in order to guarantee some sort of success to Ukraine. They've got to do something above all for a <laughs> Ukrainian Air Force.